And we are following developments in the controversy surrounding the Charleston County School District Superintendent. Yeah, this after the Board of Trustees voted to place Dr. Eric Gallion on administrative leave earlier this week. Today, we're learning more details about what went on in that closed door meeting on Monday. News 2 spoke exclusively to an attorney representing Dr. Eric Gallion. Sophia Radebaugh files this report. We go to Sophia now for the very latest. And Sophia, we understand that the attorney who's representing Dr. Gallion does not want to be identified, but what is the information you learned as a result of your conversation? Hey, yes, well, I spoke to an attorney representing Dr. Gallion this morning, and she tells me she believes the procedures the board followed while putting Dr. Gallion on leave it violated state laws regarding the Freedom of Information Act, and now there is an investigation underway. It was a meeting that some say was chaotic from the start. Moved by Mr. Second. Kelly, second by Ms. Watley. And that's igniting frustration among the community. It's concerning to lack transparency on the reasoning for putting a superintendent on administrative leave. But today, News 2 is getting a firsthand account of what happened behind the closed doors Monday night in an exclusive conversation with an attorney representing Dr. Eric Gallion. This attorney was in the room during the meeting and says that several Freedom of Information Act laws were violated. The attorney says days prior to the meeting, the general counsel placed a personnel issue item on the agenda for executive session. The attorney says it was without the superintendent's knowledge and quote, the general counsel has no authority to put anything on the agenda as she is not a public employee. The attorney says Dr. Gallion then tried to figure out what it was about and did not hear back until the day of the meeting. Some board members were also kept in the dark up until the meeting started. The attorney says, quote, one of the board members stated that she tried to get information and could get no information as to why they were going into executive session. Nevertheless, they went into executive session to discuss the personnel issue, which ended up being about Dr. Gallion and a complaint made against him, which the attorney says was made by a CCSD employee who wasn't placed in a position quickly enough and then claimed Gallion was creating a hostile work environment. Board members were polled about whether they would vote in favor of placing Dr. Gallion on leave, which the attorney says is illegal. After this, the attorney says the executive session was adjourned, then put in recess where an illegal meeting was held to select a temporary replacement for Dr. Gallion and Gallion was officially put on leave. The attorney says the entire process violated the Freedom of Information Act. They're now conducting an investigation and the attorney says, quote, I have full faith in that investigation and how it will be handled. Patrick Kelly, the director of government affairs for Palmetto State Teachers Association, says this is a big distraction to the bigger needs of the district. Assuming that there's not a clearly defined rationale for this administrative leave, it concerns me that we're kind of taking our eye off the ball in terms of what we really need to be focused on right now is student learning and achievement. And I have reached out to some of the board members who voted in favor of putting Dr. Gallion on leave, and I have not heard back from them yet. Live in downtown Charleston, Sophia Radebaugh, Count on Two.